to this day, when it, someone comes into school, a parent comes in, I do not introduce myself and say, hello, I am Sensei Nichols. I do not say, hello, I am Mr. Nichols. I say, hello, Robert Nichols, how are you? I use my first and my last name. I've never asked any of you guys to call me Mr. Nichols. You've done it because you figured out that that's the sign of respect, that's what we do. Okay, and that's, it's the same with you guys. Look, I'm sorry, I, 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 I don't remember who it was specifically, and I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. I had an instructor that told me the other day that they introduced themselves to people as Mr. So-and-so. I'm like, well, why don't you use your first name, man? A lot of people are older than you are. Isn't that a little disrespectful? You know, and it's like, oh, but I am an instructor. And no, they weren't acting like that, but it was getting you the idea. You've got to be able to come up to people, hi, I'm Katarina Gumaras, how are you? Okay, I personally, when students are here for the first time, when I'm meeting people, I use two hands. Hello, how are you? I'm trying to convey to them you're important. I'm making eye contact. I want to speak to you. It's not, hey, it's fun. Okay, the way you talk to people, the way you introduce yourself to someone right off the bat, from the first moment you meet them, okay, will dictate how they think about you in the future. That's our charisma. Okay, we got a half an hour, we gotta move on to the next one.